Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Specialist Performance Tester Certification. We are in chapter four talking about 4.2 analysis, design and implementation. As it is a big topic, we are moving into the sub-segment of it. Today we are talking about 4.2.4, creating load profiles. As a part of this particular tutorial, we'll be continuing ahead of our previous tutorial, where in previous tutorial, we understood how to create an operational profile. Now we'll be talking about how to set up and create a load profile, which will be finally applied on the operational profile. So generally operational profile sets up the expectations that what exactly we do expect to happen. Now that could be set of activities, that should be set of things which happens from the system point of view. Now we'll be multiplying that instance with multiple number of users. That means applying load on the same. So creating a load profile equally requires the understanding of number of users working on different point of time on a particular system. Of course the load can be variable, load can be fixed throughout the day like 24 hours and 7 days a week, but sometimes their applications are, which are having some peak occurrences and we need to do consider them. So creating a load profile does consider a lot many factors, which we'll be discussing in this particular tutorial. A load profile basically specifies the activity which a component or system being tested may experience in production. It consists of a designated number of instances that will perform the actions of predefined operational profiles, over a specified time period. Now, of course, this basically deals with the number of users working on that in terms of performing same set of activities or probably different set of activities, but it all does matter from the count of people, number of users working on this particular scenario for a particular duration of time. Where the instances are basically users here and the term virtual user is commonly applied which basically means that generally these are all done with help of tools, that is performance testing tools. So we generally make use of virtual users to do this job. Now, the principal information required in order to create a realistic and repeatable load profile includes the performance testing objective, that what is that you want to achieve? There are several types of performance testing which can be performed, including load testing, stress testing, volume testing, endurance testing, and spike. So what all things are in your spoke, a scope as per the plan and what all you need to do, what's your objective to achieve. So evaluate the system behavior under stress loads or anything else like from the load or scalability or a lot many other things. Operational profiles which accurately represents individual usage patterns. That means the operational profiles has to be in such detail that a user's exact interaction with the system can be elaborated. Like we can able to understand that how a user will basically work on the system and what kind of activities or set of actions will be performed. Known throughput and concurrency issues. Like if you have a taxonomy with you, which tells you that these are the common issues which we generally face when it comes to number of transactions per unit time and number of users simultaneously working on this. The quantity and time distribution with which the operational profiles are to be executed such that the SUT experiences are the desired load. Now, of course, uh, we have to set up the quantity and the time distribution so that we can have that desired number of load which can produce that scenario so that we can see the behavior of the system and figure out the issues to rectify them. To do that, of course, we have different ways to do it. We have ramp ups, we have ramp down steps and predefined distributions. Where ramp up stands for steady, steadily increasing load. Steadily increasing load means you start with 50 users and every 30 seconds or every 30 minutes you add 10 users to this and see that how exactly does it behave. Now this is not something which is fixed. Depending on the scenario you can always say that probably every 10 minutes I want to add 10 users or every 15 minutes I want to add 20 users to the scenario. But a steady growth. A steady growth means every single interval of that time the same amount of users will be added to ramp up the scenario. Similarly, the ramp down, which is steadily decreasing the load in the same way. When it comes to steps, instant, instantaneous changes in the load, which is suddenly adding up 100% of users. 
What if you started the scenario with 100 users and after 30 minutes you add another 100 users to the scenario, which is just a step, maybe another 50 users after 30 minutes of time. So you just jump rather than being steady towards the growth of the number of users. Also predefined distributions, which means volume mimics daily or several seasonal business cycles. So sometimes people say that we occasionally go for some offers, probably once a month or maybe once a quarter. So these are the day or maybe once a day at 6 p.m. We expect people to come and enroll for a particular event and we suddenly, you know, expect a peak at this point of time. So we talk about those predefined distributions that six o'clock in the evening, you will be trying to have a peak suddenly happening. Now, the following examples shows the construction of a load profile with the objective of generating stress conditions for the system and the test. So we'll be looking at some of the examples in the next slide with combination of professional and, uh, sorry, operational and load setup. Let's have a look at these graphs, okay? We have got three different graphs which shows different operational profiles and one being combined together. Now let's understand what these graphs stand for in terms of understanding. So if you look at the first graph, it has a duration on the x-axis like 6 p.m. to 12 p.m. And on the y-axis, you have the number of users. If you see the operational profile one has a steady timeline or number of users throughout the number of hours, that is for six hours, and they all remain the same. So in this diagram, a load profile is shown, which consists of a step input of 100 virtual user. At a step, you have added 100 users to this. These users perform the activities defined by the operational profile one over the entire duration of the test. Now, this is typically of many performance load profiles that represent a background load which will be applied on this. When it comes to the second diagram right here, the load profile based on operational profile two. Now, this operational profile or this particular diagram shows a load profile that consists of a ramp up of 220 virtual users that is maintained for two hours before ramping down. So if you see the consistency between 9 a.m. to 11 p.m., uh, sorry, 9 p.m. to 11 p.m., 220 users stay together for these two hours. But before that, there is a ramp up right from 7 p.m. and then a ramp down starts right at the 11 p.m. and goes down to zero by 12 p.m. Now, each virtual user performs the activities as definitely covered in the profile. And in the last one, of course, the bottom one, the load profile that results from the combination of two described above. The system under test is subjected to a three hour period of stress and definitely has a different behavior at this point of time. Now, of course, the combination here is to show that what if the you know, general users, which are 100, remains as usual but at a certain point of time, like 9 p.m., suddenly there is a high cup, like a creating of a spike, and we see how does the system behave. So we just want to make sure that these things do have the performance updates from the point of expectation, and of course, coming out with the reasonable outcomes. If in case not, we do the reasonable workaround to improve the performance of the system. Well, that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.